Welcome to Friday, a daily vlog. Going live on a Saturday, but I'm filming this on a Friday. So you would think that I have got that exciting feeling about me that the weekend is coming up. However, I plan to come to London today to film the Periscope. However, if you're watching this at 5 p.m. or even half past five or even 6 p.m. on the day that this video goes live, which is Saturday, tune in to pause this and tune in to Periscope because I'm gonna be live broadcasting probably right now. I'm live broadcasting at 6 p.m. We rescheduled because, I'm not sure whether you can see out here, but in front of me, it's raining and it is supposed to be raining all day. There's a news story about it. There must be a slow day in the news, but they're saying that everyone needs an umbrella today because it's gonna be very, very wet. And very windy, which is not great for car spotting. But I thought I'd start the vlog off as I'm heading to SB because like I just said, I'm not going into London today. It's gonna be a slow day for me today, but at least there's the Formula One practice on that Sam nicely reminded me um, this morning. Fingers crossed, I can tune into that. The really cool thing that happened last night, I went to watch Ant-Man, which I probably put in yesterday's vlog, but if I didn't, and I cut it out because it was a boring conversation. Anyway, I went to see Ant-Man last night. I wasn't overly keen on going to see it, but my girlfriend really wanted to go and see it, so we decided that we would go to the cinema and watch it. And my review on the film is it was awesome. Literally, wasn't expecting it to be good. I don't particularly like Marvel films. It sounds crazy because I wrapped my car in Iron Man. But I like Iron Man, but the Avengers film, I didn't really like the new one. But Ant-Man was awesome. It was so cool. I really like Paul Rudd anyway. I think he's a really good actor. And I actually got starstruck last night. I uh, was in the cinema and um, these guys came up and said, really like your videos, a huge fan of your, huge fan of Supercars London. I was like, oh, thanks. He goes, turns around and he goes, Dej, do you know this guy? And Comedy Shores Gamer turns around and like, oh my God, like, ah! Didn't even know what to do, so it was really awesome to meet you. Um, and uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty awesome actually. A random Thursday evening in the cinema and meet up with one of the biggest YouTubers out there. <laughs> Look at that. That was like a green BMW M3, literally, as I took the camera out of the Montar car now, what a beast. It is so good. But the thing is, I haven't even checked the content from yesterday yet. It's still on this memory card, so I'm gonna have to go to SB, edit the video straight away so that I can see just how good it is up on there on the car Montar. But this is what I'm talking about with the weather. It is just pure rain and it's supposed to get even worse throughout the day which is why i'm not going to london because i don't want to get wet i don't want to take an umbrella to london it's just awkward <sighs> oh wow as i get out of the car let me know whether you are experiencing stinky air it utterly stinks I've like farm fertilizer everywhere you go at the moment. See you later, baby blue Fiat 500. It, it stinks, basically. I don't know what's happening um, or why it is smelling, but it is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be spending all day in the office, but firstly, I'm gonna show you this black Dino. And an old school Aston Martin. This is like a classic stair SB. My office space is a mess. Just putting the memory card back in. And Sam has just WhatsApp me two things. And this is a very well-rounded um, assumption or the best way to describe Sam. Have you seen Kylie Jenner's Snapchats is number one. Number two is a picture of the Formula One as the practice starts. Literally, <laughs> that sums Sam up in two things. So I'm gonna go and turn the TV on and get the Formula One on. Giving up, I'm gonna watch it on my laptop. That's the best way of doing it watching it on my laptop. Ladies and gentlemen, I could not get the BBC up on the shush Sam, but this is exciting. 
Come on, there we go. 199,993 subscribers. You guys, this is insane. Seven subscribers of 200,000. I cannot believe how ridiculous those numbers are. Like, I, got, I, I hit 100K when I was in December, so January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Seven months on, and we've doubled up. Everyone that is a subscriber to Supercars of London, thank you so much. And I know that the last few days' vlogs probably haven't been as exciting as the ones at the beginning of the week when I was in London. Uh, but it, it can only get better. It can only get better. The more I go into London, the more I go into London with a car, or the more cars that I get my hands on to review whatever it is, I think I mentioned it in yesterday's video. Honestly guys, I cannot do it without you. Your support is insane and I love the fact that you are so keen and enjoying all of these daily vlogs that I'm making and um, I can't wait to take Supercars of London to the next level. Quickly grabbed my camera off charge so you get to see exactly 200,000 subscribers. Yes! There's a bit of a celebration, guys, and the reason why I haven't tweeted yet, um, or, it, well, I have now, whilst this vlog's gone live, but I'm letting it go up a little bit because I remember when Tim, or Shmiwa50, as you may know him, shared 400,000 subscribers. He shared exactly when he hit 400,000 subscribers. And then obviously, there is a small percentage of people that think it's funny to unsubscribe, so he goes below. Anyway, I think he went down to like, 4, uh, 3,999, 600 or something like that, like 400 people unsubscribe purely so that he could go back below but then obviously he went straight back up and, and everything was resolved in the day but there you go, 200k subscribers, it is insane, what an insane feeling, I don't even know what to do, like I'm just sort of almost speechless. Um, that we are on 200k subscribers. I thought I'd let you know that I have changed Snapchat. So my last Snapchat was Wallace PJW, which is the same as my Twitter and the same as my Instagram. And I didn't know how to use it at all. So everyone that was adding me in, I thought that to accept it, you had to add them back a bit like Facebook. However, I was told pretty early on, or I realized pretty early on, that that wasn't the case, and people can add you and follow you um, and see your story um, at literally no, I didn't have to do that. Um, so I ended up having about four or 5,000 people all on my Snapchat, which made it very difficult to see any snaps whatsoever. So I have changed it. My new Snapchat is now in the bottom bit right now, and it's also, um, I might put it in the link video description box or whatever. It is PJW Snaps. Lovely British summer and I'm wearing basketball shorts. Yes. <laughs> Lunch time. Live live snapchatting the fact that I'm wearing shorts in the rain on the world's rainiest summery day this is what it's all about do you prefer the original glazed or do you get all of the stuff on it I prefer the originals we've come to Tesco's <laughs> started to get food and then realised that it's Friday so we're all going to go McDonald's instead bye Tesco's not filming. Damn it. Managed to not film everything. We decided that because it's Friday we're gonna go to McDonald's instead, so we're leaving leaving Tesco's. I think everyone has decided to go to McDonald's on a Friday afternoon as well. It is super busy. And this car park just isn't good. By the way, this is the first, this is the McDonald's I did my first McDonald's roulette. I'll tell you what, this afternoon not a lot has been going on. I've just helped the guys steer an Aston Martin DB4 or DB5, whichever one that was there. I've just steered that into the workshop. But it's pretty cool to see two, well, flagship Ferraris, two such well-known icons within the, the Ferrari world, the Dino and the Testarossa right next to each other outside SB with a 348 which probably wasn't as 
well remembered as the other two there. It's time to go. For God's sake, it's still raining. But yeah, today has been slow. Not much has gone on, apart from the fact that England has decided to dump thousands of gallons of water. Still stinks as well. I need to dump this. Oh, I don't think I locked the car. My f camera's getting wet. Can you believe it? All week has been really nice, and then Friday, as soon as the weather, as soon as the weekend starts arriving, for some reason it decides to rain. So I literally don't even think there's anyone in London. There might be one or two, but who? I've got to just dodge a Ferrari Dino and a Ferrari 430. <laughs> who would go to London? On a day like today, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I'm just, I'm just itching to have a car that I can film, vlog, do everything. I've mentioned it way too many times on camera. Whether they all make it into the vlog or not, um, this sucks. And this is a Saturday vlog, and this is my Friday. Sat in a Fiat 500 0.9 liter, whilst it's going down hard with rain. I didn't really know what to, how to, how to describe it. But anyway. I'm sorry the vlog hasn't been as exciting as some of the other ones, but don't worry, over the weekend I'm going to be in London every single day hunting down supercars. I'm going to try and go for some rides in supercars or rides in exciting cars hunting supercars. So that's all to come. That's going to be coming um, Sunday and Monday. Sunday and Monday, does that make sense? Yeah, honestly. Throughout the next week, it's all going to be supercar filled. I'm not going to be spending that much time in the office because as the weather gets better, I'm going to be spending more time in London. And fingers crossed over the next couple of days or maybe in the next week, I can organise a car that I can drive around in so I can get to London a little bit easier. Thank you for watching. I may have been rambling on a bit today, but as you probably can tell, I've been pretty bored in the office on a Friday afternoon. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it and thank you again for 200 thousand subscribers that we've ticked over today utterly insane absolutely ridiculous I can't believe it and I don't really know how to celebrate like I always wanted to celebrate at 250k um, as the big sort of next milestone after 100k but we'll see we'll see hopefully we can have some cool spur of the moment moments in London the last thing that I was going to say was to do with the 200,000 subscribers I posted on Instagram that we could come up with like a hashtag for the Supercars of London team. Now that we're 200,000 strong on YouTube and 164,000 on Instagram and it's, it's ridiculous. I came up with the hashtag of soldiers, S-O-L, Supercars of London, D-I-E-R-S. Hopefully that's how you spell soldiers. I haven't got it in front of me so I don't know. But anyway, I thought, you know what, that's a cool hashtag to kick off. Hashtag soldiers, team supercars of London, team soul. Um, I remember when we were team Iron Man when the R8 was red and gold, but let me know what you think of that as well. Uh, team soldiers, whatever you want to call it. I just thought it'd be quite cool and quite a sort of cool thing to do, but let me know. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I hope you enjoy the Periscope that is coming or has been. If not, sign into Periscope and check it out um, if you're late to see this vlog and I've already done the Periscope. It's still, you can still watch it back. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably getting way ahead of myself because I'm now vlogging 24 hours in advance. <laughs> but thanks for watching guys. Honestly, your support is incredible and I cannot do it without you. I'm cruising now. Starting to get some some heat in my tyres, so I'm getting a bit more grip now. Otherwise, this is a bit slippery. They tell happy this beast. I'm trying to tame it, and I will see you tomorrow. Hello. So let's say my car gets sold tomorrow. What is the timescale? What are we looking at for 